Hi, I'm David Katzmeyer from CNET. I'm with Samsung's new 2013 Smart TV. This Smart TV suite will be featured in all of the company's smart televisions. This is the high-end model behind me with a new touchpad remote. I'm going to go through the features of this smart television experience. When you first press the Smart Hub menu, which is sort of the main menu button on the television, you get this screen behind me, which is a recommendation screen. It's kind of designed around the channel surfing experience. You can see you've got your live TV right there. You've also got, along the side on the right, a list of programs that the recommendation engine realizes that you might want to watch and it actually tells you how much is left in each of those programs. Along the bottom, you have upcoming shows, so it kind of looks at all the programs that are available on your cable box, and it can use any sort of cable service. You just put in your zip code and figure out what cable service or satellite service you're using. It can use that and control your cable box to go to those channels and recommend stuff kind of on the fly depending on what it thinks you might want to watch. Now I'm going to jump to the next screen here. You can see it's a little like a smartphone. It scrolls from screen to screen. On this one is the video on demand services which include Netflix, Blockbuster and a couple of other Samsung's partners. You can actually use this screen to choose from a bunch of different video on demand services and again it looks at what you've looked at at the past and recommends new things down there. So at the bottom you have favorites, featured movies, TV shows, all these things are categorized. It's sort of a cross-platform search for all those video and demand services. Again, a pretty unique service compared to a lot of the other smart TV things out there. On to the next screen, you have all of the local content and also the DLNA, the content from your AllShare, all of these devices that can bring together your music, photos, and video onto one screen that's files and that sort of stuff that could be streamed from around the home or via media plugged into the TV itself. Now, true to smartphone form, the next screen, the fourth on the list, is the social screen. If you're on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube, any of these social networking services, you can get that stuff right on the screen. You can also tweet from the TV itself, and that's a lot easier if you buy Samsung's optional keyboard. Of course, that doesn't come with the TV itself. If you want to do some uh, quick tweets, you can do that using a virtual keyboard built into the TV itself. And finally, there's the app screen. Last year, we called Samsung's app selection the most comprehensive available. That's still going to be the case in 2013. There's more than 2,800 apps available. You can organize them to your heart's content, dump them into My Apps, the one that Samsung thinks you might use the most or up and recommended. So you can choose from any of these apps and also download a whole bunch of new apps to the TV itself. Finally, we'll talk about the remote. This is Samsung's redesigned touchpad remote. I can tell already it's a lot more sensitive than last year's model, which was a big problem. This has a lot fewer buttons than a typical remote control. Samsung does not include the multi-button remote, unlike last year. You've got to use this thing, but it's actually a little bit easier to use than we found in the past. It's very sensitive. You can use these scroll bars on the side to help navigate. There's also dedicated keys for channel and volume. You're going to have to call up a special menu for uh, searching and adding in channel numbers, however. And there's also a couple other functions that require these on-screen menus. So there is a little bit of trade-off in functionality. But on the whole, it's really nice if you like to use this thing, especially for the web browser and a lot of the other smart TV functions. This is included on the 7500 series and up, as well as the 8000 Plasma. Also, if you have a 2012 Samsung TV and you pay for the Evolution Kit, you're going to get one of these remotes in the box. So that will allow you to upgrade the TV completely, which includes brand new processing, this new smart TV system, and the remote. I'm David Katzmeyer from CNET. That's a quick look at Samsung's 2013 smart TV suite.